Well, guys, is this the beginning of the end for one Joseph R. Biden? Beijing Biden has been in the news lately for classified documents. You remember uh, last year when uh, Trump was actually going through um, pretty much the same thing, even though as the president, Donald Trump can declassify stuff. And there really isn't a system in place. He has the powers to actually declassify what he wants. Now, Beijing Biden, on the other hand, he was the vice president under Barack Hussein Obama. And is very, very limited on what he can actually classify or declassify. Beijing Biden was out there on, I believe it was actually CNN, talking about he didn't understand how Donald Trump could actually let this happen. And then all of a sudden, Beijing Biden has classified documents. And I remember this. I'm actually going to show you guys this. This is what uh, CNN had actually put out here. Look here. Biden says he was surprised to learn government records, including classified documents, were taken to his private office, the uh, Penn Biden Center. Now, this is from January the 10th. And CNN, of course, you know, they had to shield and try to protect Beijing Biden. And I remember they put this out on Twitter right here. Uh, classified documents found Joe Biden, 10 total documents, some top secret cooperating uh, lawyers found in alerted archives. Donald Trump, at least 325 total documents, 60 top secret under investigation for obstruction. Archives first reached out to Trump's lawyers and CNN got destroyed for this because they were trying to protect one Beijing Biden. Well, guys. Beijing Biden is actually trending on Twitter right now because the DOJ. Yeah, they searched his home and they found even more classified stuff, but not just from when he was actually the VP, but when he was from the Senate. I mean, he left the Senate in 2008. This is really bad, guys. This is really bad here if they find out uh, more details about this now. I truly do believe that Beijing Biden is actually compromised by China. The other day, there was actually an email that came out that had the name of Joe Biden actually meeting with uh, his son Hunter's business partners. When Joe Biden said that uh, he had never actually talked to uh, his son's business partners. That was a lie. That was from uh, 2017, if I'm not mistaken. Look here, guys. DOJ seizes more classified dots from Biden's Wilmington home after 12 hour search. The DOJ sees an additional six items consisting of classified documents from Beijing Biden's Wilmington home. Now, seeing it, 10 total documents, they've actually found more than that since they actually put that out. I don't know what the count is now. It says here the Department of Justice sees additional classified records from Beijing Biden's Wilmington, Delaware, home during a search it conducted on Friday, Fox News has learned. The Department of Justice conducted a search of the house beginning Friday morning at 9.45 a.m., which concluded Friday night around 10.30 p.m. and covered, quote, all working, living and storage spaces in the home. Biden's personal attorney, Bob Bauer, uh, said Saturday evening. Now, some of the classified stuff they actually found before this they found it in a garage and Hunter Biden had access to that garage. Joe Biden, can you explain that? Uh, quote, at the outset of this matter, Beijing Biden directed his personal attorneys to fully cooperate with the Department of Justice, Bauer said. Accordingly, having uh, previously identified and reported to DOJ a small number of documents with classif classification markings at Beijing Biden's Wilmington home, and in the interest of moving the process forward as expeditiously as possible, we offer to provide prompt access to his home to allow DOJ to conduct a search of the entire premises for potential vice presidential records and potential classified material. Bauer said that by agreement with the uh, Justice Department, representatives of both Biden's personal legal team and the White House uh, counsel's office, were present for the search. Neither Beijing Biden nor the first lady were present during the search. Uh, quote, DOJ had full access 
to Beijing Biden's home, including uh, personally handwritten notes, files, papers, binders, Manila, well, not Manila, but uh, memorabilia, to do lists, schedules and reminders uh, going back decades. Bauer continued, uh, quote, DOJ took possessions of materials it deemed within the scope of its inquiry, including six items consisting of documents with classification markings and surrounding materials, some of which for, were from uh, Beijing Biden's service in the Senate right there in the Senate and some of which were from his tenure as VP. DOJ also took for further review personally handwritten notes from the vice presidential years. Beijing Biden left the Senate in 2008 to serve as VP to former President Barack Hussein Obama. My goodness. And I'm willing to bet, folks, they're going to find even more stuff here. Why does he actually have classified documents from when he was in the Senate? Now, Ted Cruz actually tweeted this out here. He put out, this says some of the dots were from his Senate service. Serious question. How on earth did he do that? I've served in the Senate for 10 years. Every single classified doc I've read 100 percent have been in a secure SCIF in the basement of the Capitol. What the hell? Yeah. How is the mainstream media going to actually defend this? Classified documents from Beijing Biden being in the Senate this time. How are they actually going to protect this man with this? Man, this man is so corrupt, Joe Biden. This man is completely corrupt, but the mainstream media keeps protecting him. Joy, Joy Behar of The View basically just said, hey, we believe Biden because we like him, mainly because he's a Democrat. He's a Democrat. Now, all the uproar over Trump, who actually had all the power, really, to de declassify whatever he wanted, Joe Biden did not. And they're just finding everything out there about Beijing Biden. The man is completely corrupt. I'm wondering if he's actually been selling stuff over to China. I mean, this man needs to be impeached for a whole bunch of things. I mean, you people that vote for Joe Biden and vote for Democrats, can you wake up, please? Wake up. It's right in front of your face. This man is not right. This man does not have the best interests of America at hand. He has the best in interests of China. Nothing more. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.